How's it going, y'all? Uh, welcome back to our vlog. Our, this is gonna be our talking portion. <laughs> and uh, we were supposed to do this a few days ago, but uh, I got impatient and a little upset, and I was just being ethical, or I was being hard-headed, and I, we didn't do it. I didn't, I didn't want to do it that day. So we wanted to give some updates about what we've been doing yeah, uh, for these two past two weeks. And one for me is that I had a photo shoot, not this past weekend, but the weekend before that. And I uh, edited the photos, got them out to the client, to the customer. And they were super cool photos, I feel like. I think the edit came out really well. And it was a fun experience, uh, kind of setting up uh, that whole thing. And so that was really fun. I really uh, had fun on my <laughs> photo shoot. Ridiculous. Yeah. And I have actually been working on two big things, I guess. I got a few clients for my art business. I redid a homepage for a website. I also made a new logo. And I'm now working on three paintings for the lovely Sarah. And then the second big news is I got into an I Teach Texas program. Sure. Which, if you don't know what that is, that is an alternative certification program so that I can become a science teacher. Um, so that's what I've been working on. That's my goal. I actually had a few interviews today and one yesterday. Um, exciting, nervous. I mean, it'll be my first year teaching. I've been in the classroom setting, but not teaching. So that'll be something new. Um, and that's what I've been up to for sure. Alana's been doing great. Actually, she has really big news as well. Lana, would you like to tell them your big news, Mama? Tell them your big news. Here you go. Your turn. <laughs> so Alana's big news is that uh, she is doing really well. We saw her GI specialist, which mm -hmm. is gastro something. Gastroenterology. Yes. And they gave us the green light to get the G-tube out in Hi. September. Uh, she's already been a month without using it. She's been eating all her food with the bottle and yeah, growing and is healthy. <laughs> and so we have a green light to get the G-tube out, which is for us even more reason to stay healthy, stay safe, yeah. and all that. So we're excited. September, so you, God willing, get yeah. this G-tube button out. Yeah, their goal is for the baby, in this case Alana, to go without using the G-tube for three months. Um, and if they can do that and see growth, then she's good to go and they would be able to take it out, which is exciting. Yeah, so obviously that's really big news for us and we're excited about it. Can't um, wait. Continue to pray yeah. uh, and to uh, keep us in your thoughts. Yeah, she's tired. One thing that I have been uh, thinking about lately, really today, uh, I listened to this album called Vintage, brand new. Uh, and it had a lot of old school songs, worship songs, uh, that I listened to growing up, and it really struck some heartstrings uh, because really just calling back to heart of worship, uh, and even what our pastors have been saying uh, at our church, um, really coming back to what really matters. Uh, not numbers, not um, necessarily ministry to others, and I know that sounds weird because we do want to minister to others, but really ministering to the heart of God and loving God and worshiping Him and coming back to that deep relationship and calling others to deep relationship with Him. Uh, and that's really big um, for me lately uh, in my prayer time, in my worship time, uh, just to come back to a pure uh, love really for the Father. Uh, I see that all the time with Alana. Now being able to spend time with her and hold her close and just hug her and hold her in my arms. I know th how that moves my heart and I know uh, God wants the same and I would hope that we would uh, draw close to Him. I can see the way she uh, it cries, really literally cries for us whenever we're not holding her or she can't see us. She starts um, you know, calling out to us you know, in a sense and you know we show up in the room and we talk to her and she smiles or pick her up and she's all excited and just having that childlike desire again, that uh, infant desire I guess of calling out to God to come and hold me and come and be with me and speak to me, uh, that's been really big and I want to encourage us to uh, do that uh, in this season to call out to God. 
uh, to cry out to him, come close. I know that we need a move of God in our country. We need a move of God in our city. And so I just want to encourage you, if you are a Christian, uh, maybe you've gone to church lately, maybe you have viewed online, and maybe you haven't, but I want to at least challenge us to uh, come back to the heart of worship, to come back to looking at the face of God and all of His beauty and all of His majesty, and to humble ourselves before Him and to minister to His heart. Because when we minister to Him, He's going to take care of the rest. Um, you heard it a lot that the church is essential in these days, and it's true uh, primarily so that His people would worship Him, so that God's people would worship Him. And I know if we minister to his heart and we minister to him, we're going to see God do miracles today. We're going to see God uh, bring healing. We're going to see God have a breakthrough. I know there's been heartache. I know there's been loss. And I know there's been uh, division and chaos and all of these things. But I know God is going to move. I know that he is going to bring unity. He's going to break barriers. I'm just excited for what God's going to do. The, I think the closer you get to His heart, the more you hear Him, and the less fear, the more courage, the less anxiety, the more boldness. And so I just want to encourage us to uh, seek more of the kingdom of God, seek more of the face of God. French and Madeleine cookies. It's the first time I put sprinkles in them. I'm trying to, you know, razzle dazzle. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is so good. Wow, I can eat like 10 of them. I should have done. So, another thing that we have started doing mm -hmm. is investing. We said that we would be investing yeah. like for two years, I feel like. We want to do it, we want to do it. And we just hadn't done it. And so we went ahead and invested. I think one of the things was we didn't know where to start or how to start, for sure. Yeah, so we asked a few friends to kind of point us in the right direction, did our own uh, looking around, um, and we found a venue that we like mm -hmm. to invest with and we felt comfortable with and it would allow us to start off slow. Uh, some of the investing things that we looked into, you had to start off with a certain amount of money. There was a certain minimum, like $3,000 or whatever. Yeah. And at the moment, <laughs> we, did, we don't have that. So this one that we went with, um, that's to start off with the minimum of zero really so yeah <laughs> yeah um, and we know investing is the right move so one thing we started doing is investing and it's something we know is the answer it's the right thing to do mm -hmm. and I think it's what separates staying lower to middle income and moving up we can work day in and day out for a paycheck and if we only spend that money or even put it into a saving account it doesn't do anything, it doesn't grow anything. We earn it, we spend it. We earn it, we mm -hmm. spend it. And so we know, we've known that investing is important and that's the right answer. Make our money work for us. And so we started doing that. And I wanna challenge you uh, to do that. Especially if you're lower income or if you're middle income and you feel like maybe you're just, you're just there. I wanna just challenge you to look into investing. Mm -hmm. There's a story in the Bible of the talents where a master gives his servants, one servant he gives five talents, uh, one servant he gives two, one servant he gives one. I don't know why they call them talents, but they gave them money essentially. Uh, five units, two units, one unit. The one with five 
uh, put it to work and got five more, a total of ten. The one with two put those to work and got two more, a total of four. The one with one was kind of nervous and didn't do any with it, anything with it. He hid it away so when the master came back, he can just give it right back. And the master was uh, upset about it. Um, I mean, the other ones at least did something, invested and made a return with it. And the one who didn't do anything with, with it, uh, the master says he took it away from him and gave it to the one that had 10 now. And I just want to have that kind of faith with our resources. I'm not saying I want to get rich. Although, who wouldn't, be, who wouldn't want extra money or more money? Um, and I'm not saying that I'm going to serve the God of money or anything like that. Uh, I trust God and we trust God f with our whole lives. I do want to be good servants with our money. I want to be good stewards. And why not? Why not invest?